Hi, my name is Tony Kovach. I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows. I want to welcome you back to this series of instructional videos for the accordion, which is produced by Liberty Bellows to serve as a complement to either in-store or Skype private lessons. In our last lesson, we played a song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, that used just one chord in the accompaniment. Today, we're going to use uh, two chords in our accompaniment of our song, Ode to Joy. This means that for the first time, we're going to be moving uh, between different rows on the bass side of the accordion. We'll also talk a little bit about right hand technique, left hand technique, um, and phrasing so that you can play this as a solo accordion piece. <laughs> Our first goal is to find the note C. We talked in the last lesson about how to find C, you look for two black keys together. So here I have two black keys. Here's my C. Here are two black keys. Here's my C. This accordion also happens to have a high C, which is up here on top. Once you find your C, you're going to put your thumb parallel to the key, and then you're going to put your four fingers above that, one on each white key, this is going to be our five finger scale pattern. Even though this song is in the key of C, it actually starts on the note E, which is two white keys above C. So here's your C, here's your E. So notice how if I have my hand in this position, I don't need to move the hand anywhere else on the keyboard. On the bass side, we're going to start by finding our C bass note. In the last lesson, we discussed how that C bass note is marked with an indent or a rhinestone. On this accordion, there's an indent on the C bass note. I'm going to put my ring finger there. And right behind it, I'm going to put my middle finger on the C major chord button. So here I have my C bass. Right behind it, I have my C major chord button. In the last lesson, we talked about how you can use a march feel or you can alternate back and forth to create a solid accompaniment. Today we're going to add another row to the mix, and that is the G row. Um, once you find your C bass button, all you have to do is move one button up, meaning up to, towards the top of the instrument or towards the ceiling. So one button up above the C bass is G bass. Right behind G bass, is our G major chord. You can play the same patterns on G that you were playing on C. So I was playing a march with my C bass and my C chord. Now I can play a march with my G bass and my G chord. In Ode to Joy, we're typically gonna play four counts of our C chord and then four counts of our G chord. And we're gonna continue to alternate between those throughout most of the first and second phrase. So here's what it will look like. Four C's, then four G's, then four C's, then the four G's. You keep doing that. Notice during the end of the second phrase, I do two counts of G and then two counts of C. Here's what it will sound like with that accompaniment and the melody at the same time. So 
So notice again, at the end of the second phrase, I do two Gs and two Cs. During the third phrase of the song, we're going to play two counts of G followed by two counts of C, and we're going to do that back and forth until the very end of the phrase. So that'll sound like this. Notice at the end I did four counts of G. That's how the third phrase ends. With the melody, that would sound like this. And the good news is the fourth phrase of the song, the final phrase, is identical. Both the melody and the bass accompaniment uh, are identical to the second phrase. So you already know the entire song. That last phrase is simply going to be the second phrase again, just like this. So try the bass accompaniment um, for the entire song, uh, and I'll play the melody, and you isolate your left hand. A one, two, three, four. So now, instead of doing our march feel, let's try doing an alternating feel where we play bass, chord, bass, chord. It's going to be all the same chords. We're simply going to break it up uh, to this different kind of feel. So it'll sound like this. C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C. G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G, C. With both hands, that sounds like this. So now that you have your right hand and your left hand down, you want to focus on proper bellows control and phrasing. So as I'm playing, anytime I feel like I'm getting a little bit too far out from the core of the instrument and it's becoming uncomfortable to play, I switch direction and start moving in. Whenever I feel like I'm getting too close to the bellows being closed entirely, I start moving out again. So play through it again, and this time really focus on bellows control. <laughs> Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next lesson where we focus on playing a song with three major chords in the left hand.